we are located at Moscow Geek Picnic, the largest scientific and popular festival in Eastern Europe devoted to modern technology, science and creativity. So where is the line between a man and a cyber? Do you consider yourself less human and more cyber? I don't see a line at the moment. You either have man or you have machine. Cyborg, where does it stand? It's not either. I feel more human. And less cyber. And less cyber. Yeah, I mean, I would never say I was a cyber. Because compared to when I had two arms, this does not enhance or augment my life. Compared to having one arm, oh, it seriously does. So am I a cyber? And how does it actually work? Could you please show? Okay, it's so easy. There are electrodes here and here. So all I need to do with this arm really to make it work, if I can make this muscle contract, and if I can make this muscle, that's all I need to do. So I can do this and it opens. I can do it. With, with the, with just, just the muscle, muscle. Okay. Yeah, well you see when you, when you open your hand, okay, you never think about it. The brain thinks open and it sends everything down and then the hand opens. Okay? But if you go open, close, open, close, and if you do that yourself and say the word and then make the action, and then if you say push forward and open, probably for the first time in your life you will be thinking about opening your hand. It's exactly the same as me. My signal goes to here and then the technology takes over. So I can feel my fingers and when I close these fingers, it, it makes the muscle contract. And all I'm doing is now, this hand, okay, uh, this is what I'm trying to do. Okay? It's almost like, yeah, it's, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> uh, this is a, a valve, so when I, I push my arm in, this becomes a vacuum, so I need somebody strong. If you, if you take here, and then I push the valve and the arm comes off. Do you take it Thank you. What's the attitude of people around you been like lately? It's extraordinary. Um, you know, I had the hardest time stopping myself smiling when I first got My face used to hurt because I kept smiling. I didn't smile for five years and then this came. The reaction that I get from people in the street is just as important, if not more important, than the way I feel when I wear it. Because the people in the street, they're the ones that give me my acceptance. So you see yourself through the eyes of other people? Yeah, if you're not accepted, how are you ever going to fit into any society without that? And this gives me back that acceptance. People understand that this is what it is. You know? So you basically now travel the world and popularize this technology? I'm an ordinary guy. I'm, nothing, I'm no scientist or nothing. I'm just an ordinary guy. And all I'd like to do is let people see that this technology is here. And this technology should be made available. It should be made affordable so that anyone who needs it, not give them. No, no. Some people won't want these. But give them a choice. And make them look affordable so that if they want it, they make it happen. Can you shake my hand? Of course. Ooh, I love it. <laughs>